Hi folks, my name is John, but my friends call me Izzy, and you can too. This is Izzy's Painting Workshop. Alright, so I'm going to show you the colors I use. This is a flat, back from, flat black from scale 75. Um, that's just the black that I'm working with, um, and the blue is the air blue from Vallejo. I like the, using the air blue because it's vibrant, but it's also very thin out of the bottle. Like, this isn't, I'm not going to airbrush with it, but it does the job. And we're going to mix the two together to get our glaze color because that's what heroes do. Now that that's just what we're looking for. Um, we're doing black armor on this um, piece, so like you want to have m most of the piece be black, but like the shine colors you want, you, like you don't want to just do white. That's boring. So I d I added blue into the glint colors, but yeah. So that base color there, that that bright color there is I is a uh, Arctic blue, also from Scale Seventy Five. And so to glaze, what we do is we take the darker color. I like to work from light to dark because it's easier to fix. But you take the paint and you wick off the excess. And you saw me thinning down the paint to almost a dirty paint water consistency, really. And you just brush it down. Now, directionality is important in this because where you lift up the brush, you will deposit the most paint. So you want to brush toward where you want your shadow color to be when you're working with your shadow color, of course, and lift up the brush where you want the most paint deposited. And you wick off the excess because this will give you a nice controlled amount of paint. It's, it starts off looking like just basically a filter, um, but like the longer you do it, the more you build up the color, and it's just such slight layers that it builds a nice tr even transition. Um, this takes longer than wet blending. Um, I'm not good at wet blending, I'll be straight up honest with you. So like, I don't, I don't do a lot of it, but also this is a small area. So like glazing in this area didn't kill me. Also, I entered this piece into a competition. So I wanted 100% to have my blends on lock. So here, this is that arctic blue that I showed you that is the base color for the shine part that we're glazing. And so an important thing to know about glazing colors that have white in it, more opaque colors in general, like any color that has white in it as a pigment, like the arctic blue, it's blue, but it's got a lot of white, um, you know, other white in general, or even like ice yellow, colors like that. Instead of mixing water in, and making that thin, thin, dirty looking paint water, you wanna do this with medium. Because if you do it with water, your result will come out looking chalky. Whereas if you do it with medium, it'll come out looking more vibrant. It'll just make a much nicer, it'll make a much nicer transition. And now you can see I, you know, I'm going back and forth between the dark color and the light color. And this is basically just a dance of pulling and pushing the colors back and forth until you get a blend that you're happy with. And there's no there's no magic bullet to this. You just, like I said, as with the dark, you do the same thing with the light where you remove the directionality counts. You want the lighter color to be, you, you want to pull towards where you want the lighter color, whereas you want to pull away, you know, you want to pull the paintbrush up and lift it where you want to pot the most paint. And you can see here, I go a little bit overboard with the light color, but that's okay because I have my gla my darker glaze ready too. So you can just go back over it. And really, this is just a matter of going back and forth. Like, it, and you'll see what you're doing when you do it yourself. Like the best, the best way to learn is really trial and error. Like I can show you what I'm doing in a video, but until you pick up a paintbrush and put it in your own hands and like do this yourself, like you, you won't like, 
I so I watch a bunch of videos by a bunch of different YouTubers. Um, I, like I watched a video by Vince Ventrola on glazing, and that was life changing. That instantly changed my painting. But like I mean, what I'm doing here is nothing different from what he showed you. I mean, he probably like he's a bit more painterly and a bit better of a teacher than I am. But like. You can see this is just a matter of pushing the color back and forth and just light amounts of color that you add and a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And you just keep doing it until you get the gradient you want. You can see the gradient. You can see that gradient. And right. I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup here and there that you can see. Like I'm just cleaning up a little bit of where that white went so it's it's a little bit about where that arctic blue went so that it's sharper the detail of that glint because this is meant to be hard bright armor and it has like hard sharp shine points like yes it has gradients like the ones we just spent a while doing but also it has sharp bright points and that's what sells hard armor and yeah you, there you go this is an example on the front part of the shin pad this is exactly the technique we use like this, this is, you know, that's what glazing looks like when done right. And okay, and here you can see we have our finished product. And you can see I did a lot of glazing all over this piece, all over our armor, on the motorcycle, on the bandolier clip in her shotgun yeah it, there was just glazing done all over this piece um yeah so this was her as seen at nova and um yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please hit like and subscribe and share it with other people you think might enjoy it um hopefully we'll see you in the next one and yeah have a good night bye